Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. We're on here today to show you two new widget pack releases that we have and we are super excited. If you're new here, we talk about all things productivity and digital planning on your iPad with your Apple Pencil, although these planners will work on some other devices as well. We do have a free planner at breezyorganization.com if you want to download it to see if it will work on your device um, so you know if you can do digital planning on whatever device that you have. And if you see my hands, please ignore all of the bruises, the scrapes, the... Um, bleeding areas, the Peppa Pig band-aids, because when you have kids, you don't have any nice looking band-aids. All you have are cartoon band-aids. <laughs> um, I went out and tried to play ball with my six-year-old, my three-year-old, um, went to try to catch a ball on concrete. And, um, let's just say it was an unpleasant experience. <laughs> I am not very athletic and it um, totally shows. So anyways, um, besides all of my bumps and bruises, let's get into today. So this is a look at my um, week. I do not have any of the widgets shown here yet because I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> One of our new releases for today is a kind of like a spring cleaning pack. I've had a lot of people email me wanting me more specific cleaning widgets. So I hope I accomplish this. If there is something more specific to like a program or a way that you do it, be sure to let me know down in the comments down below. Um, but I, um, for what I do, this works for me. So I was super excited about this one and we're going to click on deep clean. So this is going to be our deep clean pack, um, spring clean, deep clean, whatever you want to call it. We have bathroom, bedroom, um, just general cleaning, house, kitchen, laundry, living area, spring cleaning, and zones. So you have several widgets here. You have um, nine widgets here to choose from. Then we're going to go back to our planner and I'm going to go to a week that is empty. Let's just go to May because it will be completely empty. I haven't gotten that far along yet. Okay, so now that we're in May into a clean spread here, I'm going to bring up my files app and I'm gonna turn my iPad this way. I find it easier when I use split screen to turn it this way. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom where our widgets are. Um, and then all you're gonna do is tap and drag over and you wanna save your widgets not into GoodNotes. You wanna save them into the files app on your device and it's super easy to use your wid widgets that way. So um, a look at this, we have bathroom deep clean to do. So we have white baseboards, dust surfaces, knock down cobwebs, clear mirror, clear. <laughs> Clean mirror and sink, sweep and mop, scrub toilet, clean bath and shower, fixtures and vents, purge and organize. And then down here we have fixer upgrades. We always have those lights that are out, trim that needs to be fixed, a spot that needs to be repainted. And we kind of keep a list and then we can kind of do a work day at the end, hopefully, and accomplish all the little fix and upgrades in each room as you're deep cleaning and going in all the nooks and crannies in a room. We have these broken down for every room. That is the bathroom. The bedroom includes like washing beds, uh, dusting the blinds, cleaning the windows, clean under beds, um, under the furniture, fixtures and vents, and so on. And then this one just says cleaning. So this is just a daily cleaning checklist. So you have make bed, dishes, dishwasher, laundry, fold and put things away, uh, pick up, wipe counters, sweep and mop, touch ups, and that sort of thing. And I know um, sometimes we have those empty spaces where we could add more widgets into our planner. And I just love a good checklist. I love being able to mark things off. It makes me productive. It makes me push harder to do more. And so I thought just having a daily clean cleaning checklist would be a great um, addition to this widget set. And then we also have just house deep clean. So these didn't fit necessarily in a certain room. This is more like maintenance kind of. So change air filter, declutter closets, organize nightstands, change light bulbs, check smoke alarms, wipe down doors, declutter garage, and so on. So I tried to go and think of absolutely everything in the house that you would need to have clean and have you list for those areas. Of course, the kitchen goes into a little bit more detail. You got dishwashers and microwaves and stoves and wiping down the cabinetry and all that good stuff. So these are super, super fun to use. You have laundry and living room. And then I'm going to show you two different style ones. So you'll just put these on any month or day, wherever you want to put it in your planner. And then once you do it, you can check it off or you can fill it in with one of these cute little colors here. You can pick a color from the planner or just any color and you can fill them in that way. And then over here, our life planner, um, it looks super, super cute too with these colored backgrounds. So just pop those in. Um, in our original life planner here. So super, super cute. And then we have springs. So let's grab that one. So this is a spring cleaning to do. So this has several things that the house one had on it. 
um, and I think it has just a few more. So changing the air filter, um, check the smoke alarms. A lot of those were on the other ones. Tidy up shrubs, um, wipe down fixtures, knock down cobwebs, and then behind the washer and dryer. All those places that seems to be places that we kind of forget about, um, but that definitely need to be cleaned ever so often. So this is the zone cleaning one. Again, if there is a better way to do zones, I haven't used any of the zone cleaning methods. So I'm not for sure if this totally covers what you would need. But in my idea, when they told me, when some of my customers were telling me about it, I was thinking that, you know, blocks, you could put the titles of the rooms or whatever kind of cleaning you're doing. Maybe zone cleaning is more, I'm going to take care of all of the baseboards in the whole house this week um, and not so much by room. So um, I think you could use this in either either way. Um, you could write down baseboards and write down your rooms and check them off once you have that um, task done. So I think there's several different ways that you can use it. And then you have um, notes down here at the bottom. So that is a look at our deep clean checklist. I absolutely love these because it's so easy to forget about some of those places that you haven't cleaned um, as often as others. And um, just being able to have a checklist just makes the world a better place. <laughs> So anyways, that is a look at that. And then we're going to get into um, my favorite release for today. And that is, I have been stuck on this memory thing, which photos and stuff are just a huge part of my life. And so I just really, really, really like these. But we came out with a memory pack too. So we have a memory pack and journal pack already. It has a lot of just journaling ones and it has... Um, horizontal widgets and a lot of just journaling ones and it has a few um, Instagram picture ones but after I made the really cute memory book which if you haven't seen that definitely go check that out that was last Sunday's um, release so if you haven't checked out our journal memory keeping book from last Sunday you'll definitely want to do that if you like keeping any kind of journaling or memory keeping in our previous like journal widget pack that we had memory and journal widget pack um, I noticed there wasn't a lot of like the pictures going different ways and a lot of different options. There were only a couple of options if you want to use the Instax Polaroid look. And I know several of you after I did my April planning, um, I used the Instax little picture Polaroid uh, lots of different ways and turn it different ways. And a lot of people messaged me wanting that image because I didn't have that as a sticker yet sold. So I'm adding that into this pack. So you're going to get that. We have a square one and we have more of the original Polaroid um, size. So you're going to get both of those with this and then you're going to get seven additional widgets. And I kind of took last Last week's inspiration of the kind of um, really cute layouts that we had in the memory book and thought, hey, I can make those widgets too. So I think that'd be super fun. So that's what we did. We have them saying different things. We have some with writing and some with just pictures. And basically it is so easy. You just pick a picture that you want. <laughs> this is my son eating a chip on the boat today. Probably not just like the best um, photo picture, but it'll work. <laughs> So all you got to do is pick it up like this and then it needs to be cropped just a little bit. So we're going to crop it up and then you just play around with it until I made the light gray like area where your picture goes right here. I made it so, so light um, that whenever you have a picture on it, you almost don't even notice it. So like, see, I didn't actually come over all the way to that gray spot, but once you have a picture on it, you don't even notice it. But if you want it to be completely covered in that area, I just need to bring the bottom make it a little shorter so I can make the sides a little bit wider and then it'll fit over that exactly right there we go I have a mark on here it's driving me nuts there we go okay so that is a look at how easy it is to just drag your picture in and size it to go right on top of these little instax pictures they are already in there so you don't have to line them up or anything and then you can just do your little writing beside it they are so so cute and we have so many for you to pick from we have day in the life um, we have favorites this week, fun times, memories, the two Polaroids, this story, and weekend adventures. And I'm going to show you a few of those back over here. So if I scroll over here, this one was the favorites this week. That was the first one that I made. I wrote in some uh, little journaling about it, but the pictures are just going a little bit different ways. So I thought that was super duper cute. And then this one has several of them on it. We have um, day in the life here and you can just put pictures and you can add in little stickers here. I think that's super cute. And this is fun times captured. So you had this um, little just collage of different pictures and then you have creating memories. You have three pictures here, two down here at the bottom where you can write and fill in the story. Weekend Adventures, this is a little idea of using these stickers. Um, we do have 
A lot of people emailed and said that they didn't necessarily want the whole memory book, but they liked the stickers that were included in the memory book. So we have that one sheet of stickers for sale separately. Um, that is along with the release today as well. And that is where these cute little pictures came from. So you can buy those separate if you don't want to buy the whole memory book. Um, and then you can add those onto any of the white spaces that are in here, or you could just leave them blank either way. And then you have fun times captured. You have this story with three and a lot of room for writing here. This adventure is really, really cute. Um, yeah, that's when I had my fall. It's really sad. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, fun times. I mean, how stinking cute are these little memory widgets? I love them and I'm still loving the quote widgets too. I'm definitely going to come out with another pack of those sometime soon. And then, um, just all the different variations of the Instax pictures are stacked on top of each other. You'll notice that none of them are stacked on top of the light gray part. So you have plenty of room to put your picture in there. They are just so stinking cute in such a fun way um, to do memory keeping along in your planner. It just gives you something else fun to do besides all the checklists and all the to-dos and that sort of thing. So super, super cute. You get seven of those. And I mean, I put pictures, like you can go back and look at my weeks. Um, and I put pictures like this one I have used a lot. This one came in our first you <laughs> Uh, memory journal kit and it also came with these little words that you could put on your instax which i think is super super cute um, and you can add those on these as well so lots of really cute ones those are our two new widget packs and again you do get this polaroid um, with this pack as well so this is the square one so you get this individual picture and then you get the one that's more instax too so then you could just copy this and paste it and you could make um, any kind of version of of anything as well you can stack these on top of each other and make them look however you want as well. So super cute, lots and lots of ideas. So you get those two Polaroid images in seven different um, widgets. And then in your spring cleaning one, I think you get nine total widgets in that one. We also have this really cute uh, memory book stickers, volume one sticker sheet available as well. In addition to the two widget packs this week, they pair really nicely with the um, memory widgets that we are coming out with, the memory widget pack two. Um, so basically a lot of you guys, had emailed me and asked if you could purchase the sticker sheet separate because it's the sticker sheet that came available in the memory book that we released last Sunday. And um, so there was enough request that I decided to go ahead and make this available separately in the shop for those of you that would just want the stickers and not the whole memory book to use just in their planner or however you would like to use them. Um, these are size three by fours. These are squares. These are four by sixes. They are made for the memory book. They do fit in the memory book. Um, so they won't be like the exact size. Of, as like the widget to fit in there you may be able to crop it to make it fit in there um but they were not specifically designed for that so fyi on that but super super cute um i did use them on one of these to kind of show you how you can add in these really cute um stickers here so you would just lasso any of these that you'd want like this photo and copy it and then take it over here and then if you're wanting to add it on here you could just paste and add in this really cute, this photo right here. Be super, super cute just to add in um, some little stickers on top of your photos and they go perfect with your memory keeping. So that is a look at that. We have the two widget packs available and then we also have this sticker sheet. We'll have the individual PNGs and the sticker sheet available. So I hope you liked today's release. It was super, super fun making them. I also have one more super neat little surprise that's coming up. I don't know if it will be released this coming Sunday or the Sunday following that. So definitely stay tuned to our channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in this and you enjoy these videos. The bell to be notified. Uh, like I said, we do upload every Sunday and sometimes during the week. And then hit that like button. That helps our channel out so much. Or leave us a comment down below. I appreciate it. I do read every comment. Sometimes I don't get to every comment, but I do read every single one. So I really appreciate that. If you're ever interested in putting an in input on some of our products, maybe our themes or what all we're including. Um, we definitely ask more questions over on our Instagram um, channel. So if you want to follow us over there, it's Breezy Organization. And thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one and happy planning.